Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. I turned on the camera and did something that I'm not good at and I sped it up to 1.5. So I'm going to be moving a little fast so that you don't die of boredom. But I just wanted you to see trial and error and suffering and really understand that it doesn't always work out perfectly. Lots of people make videos where they make one before they turn on the camera and then they turn on the camera and it all looks perfect and it all works great. And you start to see the pattern because at the end they show you two samples, right? They already had one made. I don't work like that. I think I try a lot of stuff along the way. I want you guys to see what I'm doing here is I'm playing with eyelets. You might not have eyelets in your collection. You might be scared of them if you do. I'm using the Cropodile 2, which is a big bulky machine. And it's just like a big hole punch. And it has hole punch things and then eyelet setting. And I donated mine years ago. And my friend Noni got this one at a garage sale. So we don't have the instructions, but I'm sure I could look online and get them. And after this, I thought maybe I should. And I have some stretchy cord there that O'Donna sent me in Happy Mail. That was so sweet of Donna. She sent me some wonderful Happy Mail earlier this year. And I have a journal right there from Cat and Paws, who is Gretchen. And I'm comparing the stretchy stuff that Donna sent me is thicker. And I'd like to use a smaller eyelet, but I don't have anything else that's thicker or thinner. So I just decided to go for it. And I have this Christmas journal that I made with, uh, I believe, Echo Park paper. And what I'm doing is I want to put the elastic band in this journal first because I've never done this and I have quite a bit of Christmas paper. And if I completely botched this cover, I'd be okay. And then I want to do my No Paper Left Behind, that beautiful, beautiful Cartabella journal. But I wanted to practice on this one. So I've punched a hole with the big old crocodile. Now I'm desperately looking for the ice pick because I want to use the big eyelet and the hole isn't big enough. Please note that the crocodile has multiple hole punch settings and I probably should have just switched over and used the bigger one. I don't know why that didn't occur to me. And at this point, right, it's awkward because you're watching me and I know the camera's on and I can't decide, am I just going to throw away this footage? No, I just leave it in there. <laughs> so the idea with an eyelet is you punch a hole. It's a rounded metal thing with the open center like a donut. You punch a hole, you put the eyelet in the hole, and then you smash the eyelet. In the old days, I used to go out into the garage with my gray board that you've seen me use so many times and a hammer and the punch tool. And then the crocodile came along. You can still purchase the crocodile. It comes in different colors. It is not cheap, so you're going to want to use a coupon or get it at a garage sale. I broke one of the feet off of mine, and it still worked fine, but then I hadn't used it in years. And I almost got rid of all the eyelets. The eyelet came out a little bit donut-shaped, so I went back and tried to patch it up, and then... There's not really any patching it up. If you're too hard on your eyelets, the colored coating, which is usually a paint of some sort, will come off. So you don't want to beat the tar out of them or like really go back and hit them a bunch of times with a hammer. So my thought was I wanted the stretchy cord to go around the band where I put the Santas. Maybe not necessarily at their waist because it's a little thick and it covers them up. But it's reinforced there and I thought it would be cute. And I'm just playing with different cords that I have sitting there and looking. And plus, I'm all tangled up. <laughs> if you keep your counter spotless, my videos right now are not going to be for you. And I'm trying to figure out the length. Cat and Paws, C-A-T-N-P-A-W-S. I'll link to her below. And if you've been watching my channel, you know that Gretchen made one of these journals and sent it to me early in the year. She also has a video where she specifically shows you how to put in the cord. And I know that I watched it, but I didn't watch it recently, right? You should go back and watch a tutorial right before if you're going to do something. That's the smart thing to do. But I have four journals going and I've started a pocket letter. And the weekend's coming up and I am just 
going for it. I'm going to get some stuff done. So the idea is then you tie a knot because just like sewing, right? You need a knot so that it doesn't slip back through like a button or an eyelet. You could also probably use something like a button to reinforce this with a hole punch. And uh, that's the old dog shaking for you. The strap was too loose. So I decided I needed to tighten it up a bit. And I could not for the life of me get that stuff unknotted. And I could have pulled it out all the way. But still my nails are a little long and I wasn't willing to sacrifice them. <laughs> so I just left it the way it was. But I'm trying to figure out, okay, what am I going to do? And I marked the place where I wanted to retie it for when I unknotted it. But what I did was I pulled it through and then I stretched it really, really good. So it was stuck and there was not going to be an undo button on that. I took it out. I fiddled with it. And then I realized I just need it shorter. And sometimes I have the approach when I'm crafting of life is too short. I know that there are many people who will stop a project and redo the entire thing and not be happy with it. And I am pretty sure that if I put this journal in the mail to someone, they would like it and not say, your eyelet's a little crooked and your string could have been thinner or different. So then I'm going to come back with scissors and cut that. You can melt the ends a little bit like um, with a lighter or something if you think they're going to fray. I don't know that they're going to fray, but I'll watch them. Look, it's so cute. I love it. So this is essentially my practice journal before I punch a hole in the Cartabella one. The Cartabella is beautiful, thick luxury paper. So it's going to be a little harder, but I think it's going to be fun. Then I realized I was going to put a charm or beads on there and I forgot. So string your beads or charm before you tie your knot if you're going to do this, right? This is why I practiced on this journal, but I'm happy with it and I'm going to put some kind of pocket in the back. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.